How has Nike became the biggest athletic company? Nike sells shoes, clothes, and sports equipment for 19 different sports. How does everyone know what the symbol means? What has led to the company's success? Phil Knight, one of the co-founders of Nike, was on the Oregon track team, and his coach was Bill Barronman. Phil and Bill were very good friends, and Phil was always very passionate about shoes. Phil started working for a Japanese shoe company called Onitsuka, and uh, then Phil and Bill started selling Onitsuka shoes out of a van. They started getting really popular, and people started coming to Phil's house to buy the shoes. Uh, then in 1964, they got sued, and they weren't getting paid, so they went on to establish their own company, and it was called Blue Ribbon Sports. They were really successful, but then in 1971, they changed the name to Nike. They chose the name Nike after the Greek goddess of victory. A few days after that, Caroline Davidson invented the swoosh. Phil Knight paid her $35. Steve Prefontaine was the first Nike athlete. He was on the Oregon track team with Phil, and him and Phil were, were very close friends. He was really important to the company because he represented Nike in the 1972 Olympics. And the most recent Olympics, 79 people who were in Nike shoes won a medal. The second most was Under Armour with 19. Michael Jordan was the first person to have his own Nike shoes. He was making $2,000 for the first couple of years. According to Rob, who works for Nike, so many reasons why so, so many players have endorsements with Nike is because Nike offers them the most amount of money. Another reason why is because Nike offers them the most innovation. That means that Nike offers them the coolest and newest shoes. The first shoes that Phil and Bill sold were Tigers. Unitsuka designed them. Then in 1979, Phil had it up. Phil made a shoe, and it was called the Waffle Trainer. Um, then in 1996, the Air Jordans were introduced. They were such a big hit, Josh Huber said, what the Jordans did for sneakers was what the iPhone did for phones. Nike also owns a few different companies. They own Air Jordan, Air Max, and Air Force. So if you buy one of those shoes, have the swoosh on the side. Nike started off as a shoe company, but people also buy clothes they make. They sell sports equipment for 19 different sports. Some of the sports are lacrosse, baseball, basketball, tennis, football, golf, and many more. Under Armour only offers equipment for 10. In 2015, Adidas gave up their contract with the NBA. In 2017, Nike signed an eight-year contract with the NBA. Nike has made a lot of money in the last few years because all the NBA and half of the NFL teams wear Nike jerseys. That is one of the ways that they advertise their products. A few other ways is they have billboards, commercials, word of mouth, social media, and famous events they're sponsored by. According to Wikipedia, Nike spends $100 on advertising per second. Nike stays on top of the list because they spend so much money and time on advertising. Endorsements are a really big part of the company to Nike. Some of the athletes that have endorsements with Nike are Kevin Durant, Roger Federer, Tiger Woods, Kyrie Irving, Michael Jordan, and LeBron James. 93% of NBA players who have an endorsement with Nike, oh, who, who have an endorsement with the shoe company, have one with Nike. This is all about how Nike became so big. Thanks for watching. For more information, scan the QR code.